Welcome back to this week's Trader Joe's taste test. It has been a minute since we were behind the camera and it feels so good. It's great, great to be back. We both are representing our Alaska shirts because we just got back from an Alaskan cruise and that's why we were not here last week. But this week we have so many awesome things. I cannot wait to try them. So before we do that, you all know what I'm gonna ask, which is to hit that thumbs up button, support us. Subscribe if you haven't yet already, and then wait for the end for the question of the week, because there will be a good one this week. All right, let's get into this week's Trader Joe's Taste Test. Cheers. <laughs> we are gonna start it off with some energy. This is the Organic Energy Juice Shots, brand new from Trader Joe's. They do have caffeine in them, so they're not for children. Added caffeine. Yes. Um, oh, I have lotion on my hands. It's just <laughs> slipping it. Oh, maybe not. Is Here, yours easier to open you than mine? Yours is already open. There you go. Aw, uh, right. I want to shake it myself. Oh, I shook it like a Polaroid picture. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right, we're going to try these little juice shots, and we're going to see how much energy it actually gives Ooh, us. They smell really good, actually. Well, yeah, there's yeah. good things in it. Mango and spinach. All right, let's throw them back. Yeah, I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. It actually tastes really good. It's like, it's an interesting taste. There's I, sweetness, but then there's something else. Yeah, that? I mean, it's the spinach, I think, because it's orange, mango, and spinach juice. And so, yeah, I taste the, the orange, orange juice. and mango is, is really good. Yeah. And it has like, um, what is that? There's just something interesting. Oh, there's green tea extract. Oh, maybe that's, maybe that's what I'm tasting. It's the green tea, because it has a little bit of like the earthy flavor, and oh, yeah. spinach does too, but... I really like spinach flavor, and this had just a very slightly, I don't know, different taste. a little different. Different taste. And I love green tea, but the mix, we'll see how energized we are. I know. I'm excited we took it at the beginning of the taste test so we can see by that's the end I, how we feel, if we're jittery, exactly. if we feel exactly. fired up. Exactly. <laughs> All right. So I'm, we're just going to get right into the hot food. We have two hot items that we're going to try. Um, hi, Orange. Orange is visiting. Oh, by the way, let me just, speaking of the cats. Um, I scratched my face and that was what happened to me, I think at 5 a.m. My cat decided to launch on my face, clawed up, clawed my gum. I have scratches on my chest. I don't know what she was doing. She, she freaked out and I was dead asleep. So I had no idea what was going on. And, um, she jumped directly from your face to my stomach yeah. too. So not orange. It was our other yeah, one, Harlow, our other one. but she got us both. You, you definitely took the blood. I got it though. bad. So if you see the scratches, that's just, it was, um, a weird cat moment. And I guess we have to keep our door closed, but it's been so hot. We've been keeping yeah. our door open and try to get all the windows and the circulation. <laughs> and anyway, speaking of hot, we're going to try the new habanero lime tortillas. I did put some cheese in it and made a little quesadilla on the stovetop, a little butter, and I'm excited to try these. I wanted to try it with something because I know I'm not going to just be eating these plain, so let's give it a go. All right. These are good. These are really good. Mmm. I don't... And there's not like a ton of flavor. Like I don't, I don't think that they're like so flavored, or yeah. that there's any type of real spice. Yeah. Um, I think Take another bite. I think somebody commented. It's built, it spices. builds. It, it builds up. There's definitely some spice kick to it. Is there? I'm trying to taste the lime. Do you taste any lime in this? No. Let me try. I, I think we need to eat it. Like it's it is building. The yeah. heat is building up. Yeah, a little bit. You know, it is building up a little bit, and it tastes really good though. Like. The little bit of flavor that is there mm -hmm. uh, complements just the, the basic cheddar cheese. Right I now. love these. Mm -hmm. These are so good. Um, the little bit of heat in there is like, I really enjoy it because I like having like a salsa or hot sauce with my tort, like with a quesadilla. I feel like with this, I don't even need it. Although I would still put tomato on it because I love tomatoes. <laughs> but um, I think the heat is nice, like it especially is with the very cheese. very subtle, I feel. Yeah. Like. I think if maybe if it was plain, it'd be a little more hot, but the cheese is really uh, mellows it out a bit. I think all said and done, the tortilla is really soft. It has a really nice texture to it. I really like the heat from it. Um, it's to me, it's not too spicy at all. I don't really taste the lime, so I can't yeah. speak on the lime part of it. But I do really like the flavor. It makes an excellent quesadilla. I'll tell you that. So yeah. <laughs> 
I, I say buy them. I'd probably get them again, too. Oh, I absolutely will get those again. And I will adjust what I said earlier. I do feel a little bit of warmth on my lips. Yeah. Um, that, that does build up. So that person that commented in and said that they that burned their lips mm -hmm. and they couldn't eat them still, I understand because yeah. it does get warm. I wouldn't say uh, for somebody that likes spice, you probably will think that there's hardly any spice. Somebody that's sensitive will say that there's probably a lot. So take yeah. that for what it, what it is. And um, I, ultimately, I loved it. I really I do loved too. it. I loved it too. I think it has a great flavor and not too much spice, like you said. Yeah, I agree. Okay, we are moving on to a next hot item, which is Tim's thing because uh, it has shrimp. Is it my thing though, guys? Well, so it looks delicious. It looks delicious. Now, this is a, a, a like a, a lo mein, I think something yeah. like that, mm -hmm. uh, bowl. Shrimp lo mein. And uh, when I put the the lo mein noodles into the pan or whatever, I started cooking. It smelled great, but then. <laughs> I opened up this shrimp and sauce packet, and the sauce packet is a sh uh, shiitake sauce. Uh -huh. So, those of you that have been watching long enough know that I loathe mushrooms. Mm -hmm. And um, so, I love shrimp, hate mushrooms, and this is a combination of both. So, yeah. we're gonna see how it is. I'm gonna give you an honest review, yeah. but I'm it hoping did. it doesn't taste too much like mushrooms, because this does look like something Tim would be like devouring. Yeah. And I want to say, this has so much shrimp in it, it's incredible. Like, there's so much shrimp. Oh, you're taking a big bite. Oh, I got, you know, I got to do it. I got to do it for the YouTube fam out there. Don't but... get your head in it and think you're, you're not going right. to like it before you okay. try it, okay? All right, okay. We tell our kids this all the time. You got to try something once to see if you like it. Yes, I will. Here we go. We're all waiting on pins and needles. Yeah, it's okay. Okay. Um, I I think that the shiitake flavor is definitely there, and mm. it's not the flavor that I really would prefer. Um, but I think I can get through it. I think I can eat this thing. Okay. I think I can eat it. I, I won't be giving it again just because Yay. it is it is not my forte. But I think it's um, it's mild enough in that in that mushroom flavor, and they've got a lot of shrimp. The shrimp are yeah. good. They are small uh, small shrimp, which sometimes I actually prefer having. Like, like a bite size. Ones. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, the bigger ones are more expensive, mm -hmm. but they're also sometimes like not as easy to eat when it's a whole mouthful. <laughs> um, these ones are, there's a lot of them. They're not super big. I think it's a good distribution. Um, there's some good veggies in there too, which, um, you know, they're all in the sauce, but uh, yeah. it's it's going to be good. I think I'm going to be good on this one. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Um, okay. So I know we just had... Well, are you going to try the truffle cheese? Oh, jeez. <laughs> I mean, I'm asking. Yeah, I, I, I'm going to try a little bit of it, but th this one might scare me more than the shrimp or the lo mein. <laughs> I mean, we'll do, we're going to do some cheese and crackers. The crackers are the pizza seasoned crackers, which I really am interested in trying. And then I think I want to pair that. I'll try it with the ghost pepper cheese so that I, I'm afraid of the ghost pepper cheese. Yeah. That makes me feel like it's gonna really do some damage and i mean i like spice but i'm not a fan of burning my tongue off and i think you know the the wrapper on that though kind of looks like the ghost pepper chips so they do and so i love there's... the ghost pepper chips so maybe yeah. you're right you're onto something um here's what the little pizza crackers look like the these are so adorable and i'm sure Someone very creative can make like a Pinterest worthy oh, yeah. snack with these and make it so fun. And you could probably just get one of those slices of, of buffalo mozzarella and put it on there. Oh, yeah. That's totally. Good. You could totally do that. Okay. Save a little bit because we're going to have cheese and you might want to have a bite of this okay. with the cheese or after the cheese. So, okay. Ready? Yes. To me, it tastes exactly like what it is. Yeah. Um, it tastes like maybe a slight bit of tomato sauce mm -hmm. and what's that oregano, oregano? and our, I think it's oregano the oregano flavor is is prominent the dominant yeah i know yeah. I, I agree it is i think so these crackers are really thin they're dry so yeah, they are dry you might want to dip them in marinara yourself or i don't know get creative like you said mozzarella on there might be really good um it's a fun base it is a, just a dry cracker it has seasoning on it so it does have flavor but you know, I don't know. I I like them. It, I don't they, love they just them. Need, yeah, they need something else. Honestly, I do think it is cheese. So yeah. I, I really like that they look like little pizzas because I know, they're so from, cute. Yeah, from a visual aspect, you put those on a charcuterie board, mm -hmm. they're going to look cute. 
And then I think what they really need is some cheese. So we'll try this ghost pepper cheddar cheese I'm next. I'm scared. I'm like, I am scared here. <laughs> so this one is the smoked ghost pepper cheddar cheese. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to try it in just a block straight up and let you know what we think. Oh, I'm going to take the whole thing just in case. It tastes like Gouda. How is this cheddar? It tastes so much like Gouda cheese. It's a smoked. That's weird. Oh, yeah, you're right. It is a smoked. Okay, it's. I'm, I'm starting to feel the heat. What about you? I haven't gotten to me yet. Um, it has a really smoky flavor to it, mm -hmm. but it's not, it's not super smoky. I was say it has a smoky flavor. Yeah. Um, the heat is building a little bit. Yeah. I can imagine if you're like eating a bunch of this cheese, it'd probably get really hot. Not um, as spicy as I, I, I could, I could definitely, yeah. I'll have another one right now just to prove it to you guys. <laughs> um, it's not as spicy as I was expecting it to be. So I'll have it with you. Yeah. We can try it with the cracker now. Okay. Now that we know it's not going to kill us. Um, we will take a bite. <laughs> combo. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's it. I actually like this combo too. Yeah. Yeah, the cracker needs cheese or something. If you don't eat cheese, then it needs something. Like, yeah, I agree. Something to just give it a little bit more. I feel like the cheese is good because you get that, like, the texture thing. You get that crunch, but then you also have the softness that you bite into, and it gives you, like, a little bit of a, it's like a meaty bite, you know, with the cheese. So. Mm -hmm. It's a really good combination, and um, I, I, I feel like these crackers are meant to, to be a vessel to <laughs> place something on top of and eat together, so I like both. I think the cheese is great. It's actually not that very spicy at all. I'm shocked I could have more, um, <coughs> but yeah, I, you, did you like the cheese? I really liked the cheese, mm -hmm. so um, I, I, was, I was intimidated by the ghost pepper aspect yeah. of it, but I don't think that this is gonna be anything that's really gonna like make your your sinuses just every just start yeah. gooing out or anything like well, that. Well, my sinuses already do that just because I have a cold, but you yeah. know what, what can I do? Can't do anything about that. <laughs> yeah, but this is um, it, it's got a little bit of warmth, so it's like that perfect for my spiciness mm -hmm. level. This is like the perfect amount. Me and too. I feel like I'm a, a middle of the road type of person able to handle spice so i like well, you this don't a lot. like the ghost pepper chips because you think those are too spicy i do think those are, and i can go to town on those spicy, so i don't which know is weird i don't know why i know i don't either <laughs> i think i just like the flavor so much but this cheese is great so i 100 percent stand the cheese okay now let's find out about this cheese because this one is a sliced black truffle monterey jack now again <laughs> trust me i am not covering tim's mouth and saying you have to She's forcing me. <laughs> they can't see the chain that's on my ankle. I know, you have to say that. Are you really going to try it? I'm going to try a corner piece. Oh, of course. Uh, just not, to give you want to put the whole thing no, in No, I'm just going to try a little piece okay. of it. Um, again, mushrooms and truffle. <laughs> I know, you're too... Uh, worst enemies. Oh man, truffle is worse. Truffle I is know. just such a strong smell. You either love it, you hate it, or you in between but I feel like everybody either loves it or hates it so this is kind of along the same lines as Ow. the sliced basil cheese that we tried the other day um I like this for a countertop it's like very marbled and I feel like I can I have this as my countertop in my bathroom please um I'm kidding but it does look like a pretty marbled yeah let's thing. not let's not put no you hand me that thing oh, okay. I'm giving you a piece you take what you want oh my goodness all right let's try this wow that is, oh, All right, here we go. Well, uh, nope, no way. Sorry, <laughs> oh sorry. Nope, not doing it. <laughs> I tried, it's too much. So what I think is, I think it has good flavor. It's truffly, so that's why Tim doesn't like it. Sorry guys. Um, he spit it out and he, he can't even, that's okay. You tried it. I tried to try it. You tried it, you denied it. <laughs> Um, I think it has a good flavor. It's not super duper truffly. It's not like over the top truffle. It has a truffle flavor, but um, I think it's really good. And I, I feel like a couple people did give me good tips on what to use this cheese for. So if you guys have any other ideas, let me know in the comments. I think someone said like a burger and then something else. I can't remember. I need to look, go back in the comments and read them. But anyway, I do think it's a good cheese. And I do like that Trader Joe's is coming out with some more flavored, like sliced cheeses that you can make wraps and sandwiches with, or get creative and yeah. make like a whole meal with it. So um, that's fun. 
So my take on the truffle. So I I'm, I don't like truffle as it is, but when they mix it with cheese, it's just especially like just off-putting yeah. for me. The, it brings me back to the thoughts of the truffle gnocchi that I that we tried <laughs> months back, years back, whatever that was. Um, <sighs> and the cheese with the truffle. If you like truffle, I'm sure you'll really like this cheese. So yeah. I apologize if you, if my reaction was not one that you wanted to see, but. Um, for somebody that likes it, it's probably really good. For me, it is just absolutely not my thing, so. That's fair, and we kind of <laughs> expected that, but like yeah. like you said, with the lo mein, sometimes you just don't know until you try it, and I mean, with truffle, I think Tim already knows. He knows. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna try the new green tea and yuzu spread. It says it's good with cheese, so actually, I kind of want to try it with the ghost pepper cheese. Oh. What do you think? We can do that, yeah. Yeah, let's do it. It's very liquidy. Yeah. Um, it More looks, than I thought it'd be. Looks like honey to me. It smells amazing. It smells oh, yeah. like, you know, yuzu. Yeah. So um, we'll just cut a little bit of this cheese and put a little yuzu on it and see how it tastes. Yeah, and, and we were talking about this. It feels like it's the year of the yuzu, which yeah. a few years ago I didn't even know what a yuzu was. Oh, and now it's like jello. Uh, and now it's, you know, it's everywhere. It's very, it's a lot, uh, very similar to like lemon, but it's its own fruit, but uh, definitely as a citrus. Yes. All right, here we go. Whoa. Hmm. What? It's got a kick to it. Like, not a spice kick. It's it's really bright in flavor. It's yeah, it's like very, very bright. bright. Um, and it's like a jam, like a spreadable jam that that's you can good. put on your toast or something. I like that. Yeah. I'm gonna try a little bit more on my cheese. You wanna try a little yeah, more Yeah, uh, sure. I just uh, did half of my cheese, so that way I can get the taste of the yuzu Yeah, the most. that's what I did too. I'm gonna do a lot of yuzu on here. Okay, so I taste the green tea immediately. The green oh, tea yeah. is very yeah. involved in the flavor. And it is, that yuzu flavor is pretty strong. It's like that citrus lemon yeah. flavor. It's very like, it's got like that. Perfect for the summer. Brightness, yeah, that yeah. tang, that <clears throat> kick. It's really good, I like it. Yeah, I mean, if you find the right pairing for, what, for that, I feel like it can be great during the summer for like a, uh, I don't even know. Maybe the same thing. Maybe you well, put that on your charcuterie board. Yeah, charcuterie. It says it goes on toast, and I can totally see that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This would be really good on toast, even with some peanut butter. Might be weird American thing, peanut but peanut butter. Hmm. Well, I like peanut butter and jelly sometimes on my toast. You know, peanut butter and jam yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Um, or like almond butter, whatever type of spread you want to do. You know what? Tell me if I'm crazy, but what if you did avocado toast with this on top? Yeah, you're crazy. Was it? That seems weird. I, I mean, like combinations like that though. It's fun. I don't know. I might try it. Hey, be creative. I kind of want to try it, it with yeah. the avocado toast um, because I just feel like wow, it just it's kind of like a lemony flavor, and avocado and lemon go really well together. Okay. So I'm not I'm not gonna knock it till I try it, and then the almond butter might be good too. Either way, I do think it's a really fun product. It's different. It's unique, and it has just some really bright flavor. So. Try it out for yourself. Okay. Time to try the kids' snacks. We got the apple cinnamon fruit crushers. I don't even know why we're trying these, but you know, they're it's, new, so we're gonna try them. I'm gonna make a hypothesis here that it's gonna taste like regular old apple cinnamon applesauce. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, if you haven't seen the fruit crushers, they're just super easy to put in a kid's lunch. Benson loves these, and um, they're now in the cinnamon flavor, so. You want me to go first or you? Yeah, go ahead. I have I mean, lipstick on. You care? I don't care. Okay. Yeah, these fruit crushers well, you know are so you should nice. Do it first. Okay, these, <laughs> these fruit crushers are nice because they're so easy for a kid to open them. Yeah. Um, and for a parent, you just throw them in there, and it's the perfect size. They're great. It is great. I agree. Okay. I. <laughs> what did it taste like? <laughs> Wild here. Uh, tasted like apple cinnamon. <laughs> um, mm. Pretty good though. The cinnamon's pretty Ooh. strong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why are the kids' snacks always the best? Uh -oh. um, they have the most sugar in them. Oh my gosh, yeah. This has a great amount of cinnamon. I actually really love this. I'm gonna have a little bit more. No, it doesn't even have to add, have added sugar. That's nice. Yeah, they, they usually don't. Um, it reminds me of the holidays because of the cinnamon. Yeah, a little bit. It's just, it's just got like this very fall harvesty vibe to it, which I'm always down for. You know, spooky <laughs> season's coming because Fourth of July's over. Halloween time. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I think it's just, it's what, there's not much more to say about it. It's good. We enjoy it. Your kids will too. Now we're moving on to the last two items. We're down to the two. Okay. They're the sweets, obviously. So we've got the peanut butter pillows. We also have this 
peach raspberry crisp. We're gonna throw this in the air fryer right before we try it so it's nice and warm for us. So we'll take a pause before, but we're gonna try these right now and let you guys know how they taste. It says these are delicate and crispy peanut, peanut filling in a thin hard candy shell. A lot of you guys in the comments had mentioned these are kind of like a nostalgic treat um, that you've had yeah. growing up. And I am curious to see if I remember these oh, at all. These look like, no, they're not, they look different than, you know the, the like grandma had like yes. a bowl of I know, I thought like that this. too, because it has that shiny coating. Yeah. But we'll try and see how they taste. Mmm. They're like it's stuck in your teeth. Yeah. My goodness. You know, it is nostalgic, but I don't know what it was in my childhood. Butterfinger. It, it's a lot like Butterfinger, you're right. The texture, like they get stuck in your teeth yeah. and stuff. Um, I love how crispy the shell is because I thought it was gonna be hard. Like a rock hard. Oh yeah, no, it's, it's crunchy. It's crunchy and you can just bite right into it really easily. It's got a lot of crunch. The inside peanut butter filling kind of just all blends in together, but it has a good peanut butter filling. Yeah. It, I feel like what you're absolutely spot on. It's like they took the peanut butter, like crunchiness out of a, out of a Butterfinger. Yeah. And you're eating just that into that like shape, pillow shape, whatever. Exactly. Um, they're not soft, they are crunchy. They're not hard, they're just crunchy. <laughs> so the texture is good. Um, the flavor is decent. I they're sweet. Would, they're very sweet. Yeah. I, I would probably pass on these. Me really? personally. I'm they're, surprised because it's peanut butter. It would, it needs like a chocolate or something because it's um, um, it's really sweet peanut butter. It is. And the fact that it gets stuck in my teeth like that, that's the reason I don't like Butterfingers. Mm -hmm. um, uh -huh. It's just, it's too, for me, I'm just like, ah, oh, I don't want to be digging in my teeth the whole day. But um, yeah, they're good. Um, maybe like put them in your ice cream or something. Uh, be creative with it. But I personally probably won't be picking them up again. Yeah, I think um, I like them too. I just think they're really sweet. So one is good for me. Like I'm happy with one um, and I do like the texture. It gets stuck in your teeth, but I'm, as I've been talking, it's almost all gone out of my teeth at this point. So same. just uh, you, if you like that peanut butter flavor and you want something that's sweet and tasty, these are great. Um, but if you don't like your teeth getting like stuck <laughs> things and stuck in your teeth, you probably won't like them. All right, we're moving on to the last item, which is the peach raspberry crisp. We're gonna heat this up in the air fryer because somebody recommended that, and we'll be right back. All right, how long did you air fry this? Five minutes in the air fryer at 400 degrees. And it's piping hot. It is piping hot. It recommends that you put it in the oven for like 350 for like 15 minutes. Yeah, so we don't wanna turn on the oven, it's way too hot. It's too hot of a day, and we don't wanna spend 15 minutes waiting, but um, if the air fryer can do it in five minutes, that'll be awesome. I know, I got a big chunk of peach. It's actually too big, I gotta cut this. Um, this looks amazing. I'm getting a little bit of everything. I got the raspberry goo, the, <laughs> the peach, and all the crumble. Yeah, it looks like the raspberry is like the sauce and that there's chunks of peach in there. Oh. And then of course the crumble. Oh, wow. <laughs> is that good? Mm. Stay away. Okay. That raspberry though. Mmm. 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 Mm. Okay, warmed up. Yeah. I'm telling you guys. Oh my goodness. I used to be a hater of warming things up, but I've come around because I've noticed there is a huge difference when you warm up pastries than when you don't. And I'm, I'm just gonna tell you. <laughs> That's good. This is mighty good. Yeah, that raspberry like sauce in mm. there is to die for. It is so good. Um, it, it tastes very natural. It doesn't it doesn't taste like there's any weird, you know, ingredients in there. It doesn't seem like there is. Pretty pretty clean ingredients, and it tastes really good. Yeah, there's natural flavor, but eh, what never. are you gonna do? That's an everything. Um, I will say the top, the crispy top. Ooh, that's where it's at. It's like. <laughs> It's a thick layer. It's not just like a little tiny thin. It's a thick layer. It has like a cakey texture underneath the crisp. Then you get the layer of the raspberry. Um, like it's almost like a raspberry jam. And then you get solid peaches in there too, which mm. I love because it gives you so many different textures and you taste a burst of raspberry. Then you bite into the peach and you're like, wow, such a good combination. So good. And I'm, you know what? I really do like this size because normally I feel like Trader Joe's has these giant pastries or oh, yeah. really big things, and I'm like, it's it's too much. Like at least for us, we we're a smaller family, so for those that have bigger family, it's probably just perfect for you guys. This size is perfect. I feel like we could all enjoy this, and it'll last maybe like two days. 
Yeah. Yeah. And if you're entertaining, maybe you get, need to get a couple of those, but um, they will still get finished. Yeah. Tell you they what. are delicious. <laughs> so before we move along to the question of the week, uh -huh. I want to ask you about your energy levels. Do they feel like they've changed at all? <laughs> Actually, kind of. Yeah. Really? I do feel more energetic okay. and I don't know if it's just because I ate some food because I was really hungry and so I needed some food or if it's the caffeine, but I do kind of feel like a little buzz like from the caffeine, you know? Yeah, maybe. I, I can't really tell. Um, I do feel probably more awake and more like alert, um, but nothing that makes me feel jittery. I wonder if they can tell. Yeah, no, no jitters. <laughs> I just do, I feel like I have energy and it's... Woo! <laughs> it might be the sweets, I don't know. Um, just kidding. Guys. Anyway, that was a little crazy. Uh, we are moving on, so this, this is... It for the food portion, now we're going into the question of the week. And the question of the week is, what is your idea and what do you think you could do to make the world a better place? And it's just like, I want to stay on that positive train and just like think of positivity. And I think my personal thing is I think we need to have more of a sense of community. I think over the years with social media and We've all become these singular individuals where we're just it's like true. looking yeah. out for ourselves. We don't remember people in our community and our society and like used to be able to have your kids be watched by the the group of women that were there to help watch your children and you had this sense of you had help whenever you needed it. And now I feel like we, if we need help, we have to figure it out ourselves. Yeah. And so I do think that there is just there's something to be said about just like trying to be more about the community and how do you do this? I think what what I do personally, what we all do, what Tim Benson and I do is we just really want to be close with our neighbors and I'm very involved in Benson school and I just think like giving back by being social and kind and friendly and offering food and making things for people to enjoy and come together. I think yeah. that's just such a positive thing. And I've noticed it just, our quality of life is so much better. So that's mine. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, I like that. I would say for me, I think, uh, try to make it an effort every day to do one selfless thing for somebody else. And I think together, if we were to actually put that into action and everybody just said, hey, you know what? Even if there was just like a national holiday, today is the selfless day holiday, and you did one thing for somebody else. I wish else. we had that. That's a good idea. Yeah, it would create such like a, a a great environment, and people will be looking out for other people. Then everybody would rise up together, and I think yeah. that would be really cool. Um, and then of course, trying to do it every day, and you know, creating patterns of. Uh, and habits of, of helping others and thinking of others yeah. um, would really make our world a better place. Kind of like you said, we're a lot of times human nature is to be selfish and to be able to go against that and be selfless and do things for others would make the world a way better place. Yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you can see Benson's legs in the background, give it a thumbs up. <laughs> um, subscribe to the channel if you have not yet already and I cannot wait to read your positive comments and what your ideas are to make the world a better place. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.